Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Proven Ground Dual Rear Exit Exhaust System with polished tips, fitting 2009 to 2018 5.7 liter Ram 1500s with the factory dual exhaust. If you're after that performance sound without that performance price, then this is gonna be the system for you. Now uncorking the Hemi sound is always a fun exploit, and this setup brings you some great sound at an equally great price. Now this does have quite a bit of volume to it, so we are gonna give this one a four out of five on our loudness meter. Definitely gonna be a big step up from your stock system. Your neighbors are certainly gonna know that something is up with your truck. This is a full catback system, so this is going to replace your factory mufflers and resonators and give you this bullet style muffler right here. Now, as the clips at the beginning of the video would lead you to believe, and as the resonance of this thing and the look of it would substantiate, this muffler is pretty much straight through. So you are gonna get some serious noise out of this system. Now, it is not hard to make any Hemi sound good, but this system is really gonna wake things up on your truck. You get a much more aggressive exhaust note, much deeper, it's more muscle car or race car-esque than stock. You get some burbles and barks through it too, and really it just sounds great. That straight through muffler means that you are gonna get some better exhaust flow as well. Now inside of the cabin, that means that you're also gonna get more noise there too. So just be prepared for it. And again, as you heard from the clips at the start of the video, this is gonna be significantly louder inside than your stock system, but it still just sounds good. Like really good. Just know you're gonna to have to turn the radio up once you get into the throttle. Now, from an aesthetics perspective, this system is going to exit in the same place as your factory one, straight out the back underneath the bumper. And it's gonna be finished off with these big chrome T304 stainless tips. Now, this is a pretty subtle look. It's not much different than your factory setup because it's still got that rounded beveled edge and a slash cut. These are just a little bit bigger. So it's much more subtle to look at in contrast to the sound. So if you like the look of your factory setup, but you want that better sound, you're gonna like this. Now we do also have this same system available. It's exactly the same. The only difference is you get black tips instead of these polished ones. So should that be more your style, you can check that one out on the site as well. And that brings us to construction, which I think is really another highlight here. This is all 409 grade mandrel bent stainless steel and the piping is two and a half inches in diameter. So that's gonna allow for some good exhaust flow and it'll also make for some good protection against rust and corrosion as well. Now it won't be quite as good as T304 stainless, but it also doesn't come at the price of T304 stainless and this is a surprisingly good looking exhaust. This is exactly how it came out of the box as you see it right here. And hopefully you can take a look, but all the welds look like this. They're nice and even, everything feels good in your hand. It's a really pleasant surprise to see at an exhaust of this price. Now, speaking of pricing, this one is gonna run you about $450, and that makes it pretty much the least expensive aftermarket system out there for this gen of Ram, especially when it comes to dual exhausts. And given the sound and the material quality here, I think you're really getting an excellent product for your money. This is a lot of bang for your buck, pardon the term, but it really is. And that construction, the good welding, these are things that we don't even necessarily see on more expensive systems. Now this is not gonna have all the technology baked in like some of the really expensive ones, so you don't have switchable valves, you don't have any specific things that are meant to cancel out drone. But as you heard, it still sounds really good, it looks really good, it's built well, and it's not gonna cost you a whole heck of a lot of money. So I really don't think there's any room for complaints here. Insulation is gonna get a two out of three on our difficulty meter and should take you about two hours to get this one done. Now, like most exhausts, it's a pretty straightforward process. It's gonna use all your factory exhaust hanger locations, so you don't need to do any modifications at all to your truck, and you get all the clamps and hardware that you need to get this bolted up right there in the box, so everything is pretty easy for you. So with that, let's go ahead and jump out to the install bay, and we'll show you what that process looks like. The tools you'll need for this project are an impact gun, a ratchet, a 13, a 15, a 16, a 17 millimeter socket, possibly a dead blow hammer, exhaust hanger removal tool, and some spray lube. Hi everyone, today we're installing an exhaust on our Ram, but first let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock system. We have to remove our factory system. That includes pulling both tailpipes on either side of the truck as well as the factory muffler. We're gonna unbolt the tailpipes from the muffler first using a 15 millimeter socket. That's gonna allow us to pull the tailpipes off of the rubber isolators.
All right, now that we have those two tailpipe clamps loosened on the muffler, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tailpipes from the isolators. Once the tailpipes are pulled from the rubber isolators, that's gonna give us enough leverage that we can kind of wriggle them out from the muffler itself, and then we can actually pull our muffler. All right, now that we have our driver side tailpipe removed, we're gonna do the same thing for the passenger side. The passenger side only has one hanger up here, makes it a little bit easier on us. Right, next we have to loosen the clamps to carrying our muffler to our flow tube here. That's also going to be a 15 millimeter socket. With the clamp holding our muffler loosened, we're going to spray down our last two rubber isolators and then we're going to pull the muffler from our mid pipe. Now, if any of those rubber isolators are giving you a hard time, you can actually knock the muffler loose from the clamp that you loosened using a dead blow mallet. That'll give you enough leverage to pull it out of the rubber isolator. First thing we're gonna do is install our muffler. And to do that, we're gonna slide one of the three inch clamps over the end of the muffler and then slide it onto the mid pipe already on the truck. Now, once you've got it on, we can go ahead and tighten up that clamp with our 15 millimeter socket. And when you tighten this up, you want to make sure that your clamp is close to the end of the actual muffler pipe. Now we'll go ahead and install our extension pipe here with the dual outlet exhaust for our tailpipes. Now we'll go ahead and slide our other three inch clamp on the back side of the muffler and install our extension pipe for the tailpipes. And to do that, we're gonna hook up these two exhaust hangers into the isolators already on the truck, and then we'll slide the other end into the back of the muffler. Now, once we do that, we're just gonna snug the clamp down to allow for adjustment once we get the rest of the system installed. Now you want to make sure that this pipe is completely seated inside the muffler before you snug it down. And we'll snug it down with our 15 millimeter socket. Now we'll install the first half of our tailpipe section onto the extension on the back of the muffler using our two and a half inch clamp. Now again, we're not going to tighten this all the way down because we're going to need to allow for adjustment when we get the rest of the system installed. So we'll slide the shorter of the two pipes over the axle and then slide it until it seats all the way onto the extension pipe. Now we'll go ahead and snug that up using our 15 millimeter socket. Now we can go ahead and install the last section of the tailpipe using another two and a half inch clamp. So we'll slide that over the end and then we'll put the hanger into the rear isolator here and then we'll slide the pipe over the over the axle section. And once you've got it fully seated, we'll go ahead and snug it up with our 15 mil socket. Now we can go ahead and install the driver's side. Now we slide a two and a half inch clamp over the end of our over the axle pipe and feed it through. And then we'll hook up the hanger on the pipe here to the isolator that's right above the axle. And 
And once you've got that in, we can go ahead and insert this into the extension pipe. Make sure that it's seated all the way in. And then we'll snug that up with our 15 millimeter socket as well. Now we'll slide our last two and a half inch clamp over the last section of tailpipe here. And again, insert the hanger into this rear isolator, and then we'll slip this over the last section of pipe. Once you've got the pipe fully inserted, we can go ahead and snug that up with our 15 mil socket. Now we can use these special rounded clamps to install our exhaust tip. And to do that, we're just gonna slide it over the end like so, and then slide it over the pipe. Now you wanna make sure that the drainage hole on the bottom of the exhaust tip is actually facing down. Now if you've got an extra pair of hands to hold this, it'd be great. If not, you can do it on your own. So we'll just snug this up using our 13 millimeter socket. Now that we've got it snugged into place, we'll go ahead and install the driver's side and then do our final adjustments. Now we'll go ahead and make our final adjustments to our system, double check, make sure that all of our clearances are good. We're not gonna be bumping up against anything. And then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down starting from the front. Now that we've got everything aligned the way that, we sh that it should be, We'll go ahead and tighten up our clamps using our 15 millimeter socket. Now we'll get our exhaust tip using our 13 millimeter socket. Now we'll get the last two on the driver's side. And that wraps up our review and install of the Proven Ground dual exhaust system with polished tips and rear exit for your 09 to 18 5.7 liter Ram 1500 with factory dual exhaust. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com. <music>